Welcome back. Today we're talking about still water. Ooh. What is still water? I'll give you one guess. It's water that is still. I've got a good blue theme going on here, but I think I can do even better. Ooh. It's like I'm underwater. Also, I spilled a little water on my shirt just a second ago. Spill water. Okay, but for real though. We've done scary water videos about the ocean about uh, sunken ships and sunken airplanes and big whales and sharks and trenches and people diving in pitch black water and stuff. This is another one for the books. Let me just show you what I'm talking about before I yap too long. Ooh, man. So a lot of it is in abandoned buildings because abandoned buildings are everywhere and everywhere it rains. Rain leaks into the buildings and trickles down to the lowest point and just kind of sits there forever, basically. So the water is full of old furniture and metal scraps and just whatever was in the building. And then you add time to that. Years, potentially. So now the water is full of parasites and pathogens and brain-eating amoeba. Maybe. That might just be an Amazon River thing, but you never know. I'd believe it if you told me there was brain-eating amoeba in this water. It looks like there would be, doesn't it? You're not sold on this yet? Doesn't seem that scary to you? Okay, let's keep going. Oof. Oh man, there's just no way to know how deep it goes too, or what's in there. Like this is peak submechanophobia for sure, just submerged man-made stuff. Like you're enclosed, it's dark, there's like no one to help you or pull you out. I don't know man, I know you have to kind of think about this one a little bit for it to really hit, but it hits. Yuck. No. That's it? All right. <laughs> you explored an abandoned building and found still water, and you managed to only get three seconds of video of it? It's so still that the reflections are always so perfect to where you kind of have a weird mixture, like a disorienting mixture of what's being reflected on the surface of the water and what's in the water. Let me show you another one. Here's a real life possible bottomless pit in an abandoned grain silo. This water could easily be 10, 15, 20 feet deep, or four inches. Let's find out. And it's definitely deep enough. I am not stepping in there. Are you saying if it wasn't that deep, you would go in there? <laughs> Even if it's one inch deep, I ain't going in there. But look at this reflection here. Bottomless pit. I know this is a reflection of this pillar, but is it? Before you stop and think about it, I know at least disorients my brain a little bit where I'm like, this is under the water, you know? Cause it looks like it could be. And I think that freaks me out even more because you don't really know for sure what's under the water and what's not. Like, there's no way to know how deep this is. It's an abandoned grain silo, so it could be actually kind of deep. This yeah, look at that. This could easily be 10, 15, 20 feet deep. These, like, circles here, this is on the ceiling probably, but, like, it looks like it could also just be in the water. Ugh, dude. That one's brutal. What the? Whoa, I genuinely thought it was just cement. Maybe this looks more like water in person, but in the video, this looks like just a flat surface. Dang. I mean, this gives you a clue that something ain't right here. Why did they put a cement walkway four feet up the door? That doesn't seem right. But doesn't this look like just cement? Whoa, see what I mean? Like, isn't this freaky? There's two kinds of still water. There's the kind where it's so still, there's like a nice little film on the top or like a really accurate reflection to where you can't even tell if it's water at first glance. Like it just looks like part of the room, which is freaky because below that facade is who knows what, or it's clear and you really can't tell just how far it goes or even where it begins. This is a nightmare right here. This is crazy. 
Would you swim here? <laughs> no? Why would you ask that? It might as well be a pool of lava. Look at this, man. This is a cave that just goes down. Just when I think I'm getting over my fear of the ocean, there's a whole new thing to be afraid of. Isn't that nice? This is a whole other animal, man. Ew, dude. Oh, it's so gross. Those are the brain-eating amoeba, dude. Wait, is that what they say? Is that the brain-eating amoebas? <laughs> so I'm not very original with my commentary, all right? We're all thinking it. I don't want to misrepresent anything, even brain-eating amoebas. But I'm pretty sure they are, like, specific to certain parts of the world. I should not have Googled this. In very rare cases, Neglaria fowleri, which is the brain-eating amoeba, that we've come to know and love, has been found in poorly maintained swimming pools, splash pads, and other recreational venues. Sounds bad, but let me tell you, it gets worse. The amoeba also has been found in tap water. If water containing the amoeba goes up the nose and to the brain, it can cause an infection called primary amoebic, I'm not reading that word, or PAM for short. Doesn't sound so bad when you call it PAM. If you get brain-eating amoeba up your nose, you get PAM and then you die. Obviously, this amoeba can't exist in a pool that's properly chlorinated. Oh my gosh, though, dude. This water is like pitch black. Looks like soy sauce, dude. Oh, man. Look, I think exploring abandoned places is cool, but I don't think I'd be hovering around the Stillwater areas much. I wouldn't even, like, walk around this pool. I'm pretty sure if you trip and fell in this, you would just disintegrate. You know, imagine all those little worm amoeba things swimming directly at you the second you hit the water. Actually, don't think about that. Think about something else. Think about puppies. Think about little kittens. All right, let's move on. Show me. I'm ready. Saw that one. Saw that one. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, a trap door into still water. Yikes, man. Both those numbers make me feel a lot better. Only 135 people since 1962. That's like two every year. And three of them have survived? I just assumed that if you got this, you died. Like, it's not brain licking amoeba or brain tasting amoeba it's brain eating amoeba i didn't think you could survive that look at all those shapes in there man my man are you walking in this What are you doing? Wait, 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 why? Where are you, dude? You okay? Oh, their username is Rat Seeker. <laughs> okay, so he's seeking rats. Got it. Follow-up question. Why? And don't get me wrong, I had pet rats when I was growing up. I think rats are cool. Only place I'm gonna be seeking them out is the pet store. You know what I mean? Not the catacombs of Rome. Would you jump in for one million dollars? No. Genuinely, I think my answer is actually no. I don't know, actually, $1 million is a lot of money, but jumping in, all you have to do is get like a tiny cut, assuming you don't already have one. $1 million dollars is just gonna feed your family after you're gone, you know? And you know, I think maybe they'd rather have you here. Oh my gosh. Whoa, jeez. Ah. Okay, now they're just making fun of me. An abandoned incinerator, ooh. Would you jump in for $8? I thought this was under the water, this beam here, but I guess I can't even say for sure. I have no estimation of how deep this could be. It could be a foot deep, it could be a thousand feet deep. And I think that's what freaks me out. I wonder if there's any videos where they put the camera under the water. I don't wanna see that, but I wonder if there are. Swimming in stagnant water. <sighs> yep. I know it's more of a cave, but this counts for me, man. You're not really gonna go in there, right? I think they might go in there. Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh, dude. Why are you doing this? <laughs> part two? <laughs> Did you survive? Oh, we actually got a part two for once. What is this place? Yikes. Yeah, this is gross. I don't like this. You can tell it's just a camera at the end. Thank goodness for that reveal. I was like, no way are you swimming in there. I was trying to imagine what gear they must be wearing to go do this. Want to see what's inside a water tower? 
Not really, but I'm down. Oh. Oh? Oh? Oh. <laughs> oh, this is actually the video. Okay, this is cool. All right, yeah, I'm liking this. Cool, all right, yeah, all right. I like that. No water in that video. Thanks for showing me around, Jason. Appreciate that. You think you're getting off that easy? Uh-uh. The water towers are such a freaky concept. We've seen videos and pictures from inside of them before, but they're just like a big old bowl of water. Oof, yeah, we are not meant to see this, you know? This layer of crap on top of the water makes it so hard to see in there. But you could tell from right here that like, this is deep, this is full of water. Like, imagine there wasn't a ladder to get out. You know, you're just like in the water and it's just like wet walls. I'm freaking myself out, man. How are there still lights on in these places, you know? Ooh, wowie. They're always over so quick, man. Can you show me more? Look at this, dude. This is what I'm talking about. There's just random furniture and pipes and pieces of metal. Just despicable, you know? Despicable. Absolutely vile. Oh, there's that trapdoor one again. That's it. That's all we get. Yikes. Ooh, yeah. See, you can't even, like, tell it's there right away. You're just walking down the stairs and then boom. Oh, look at this little frog. Oof. Yikes, man. Oh, how you doing? You need a little break? I know I'm kind of going rapid fire. There's not that much to say about all these other than like, dang, that's scary. So we're moving a little quicker than usual, I feel like. But um, if you need a break, you can have it. I'm just going to drink some of my water, if that's all right with you. Man, it's been sitting there a little while. I sure hope there's no amiibos in here. Oh, no way. The Link amiibo is in there. Look. Okay, here we go. Uh, eep. Yep. There's just an opening in the ground right here. Obviously, you'd have to be double stupid to go to an abandoned building and walk around without a light. And just walk around in the dark like a big idiot. At that point, you deserve to fall in here. But, but it's just freaky to think that these openings that lead to still water are just sitting there in the dark amidst regular floor. You know what I mean? At least this one looks like it has maybe a rail around it. That's nice. But watching these videos, I feel like I always second guess where the water is. Like in here, I thought like, oh, this is still water somewhere in here. Like, I think I can see it, but I'm just paranoid at this point. You know, everything's still water. I'm, like worried there's still water in my room. Let's check out this abandoned bank. Yay. Oh my goodness, dude. It's like the garbage compactor thing from Star Wars, that little worm guy in the water. There's just so many sharp objects in this water. Also, it feels weird like throwing garbage in here. Like I, I saw him through the water bottle and I was like, ah, he littered. And then I was like, wait a second. <laughs> Is this like the one time that's okay? I think this entire place needs to be deleted. Okay, just a regular looking house. Okay, it looks a little bit sketchy on the inside, but not too bad. Nothing too crazy. Oh, don't go down. Don't go down there. Don't look down there. Ooh, like the entire basement's full of water. Ooh. You littered. <laughs> Gosh, dude. I don't know if I'd trust walking around on these floors. You know, like, look at this. Like, there used to be floor here probably, right? I would be afraid the floor would just give out and plop me into the basement of still water, you know? Ooh. Yep. That's a nightmare. An entire basement of stuff full of water in the dark underneath a house. Dark basements are creepy enough when they're not full of water. Let's explore this power plant. Ooh. This is a weird thing for me to critique, but I feel like if you have access to something so scary, you could put a little more effort in, you know? <laughs> this is the whole video, just... And then it ends. But on the bright side, like, yeah, do that and then walk away and stay far away from the still water. But for content, for me to watch, maybe, you know, pretend to fall in, 
Maybe you stick a GoPro down in there. I don't know if I'd do that either, because I feel like I would have to burn my GoPro after doing that. No nonsense, you know? I like it. Here's that cave again. <sighs> what are they even doing in there? They're probably doing something, obviously, but to me, I'm just like, <laughs> there's gotta be something else you can be doing down there. It's just creepy to think that this water could just be as deep as it wants to be. It's not like an old building where the water is like at most like a couple floors deep, you know, which granted is way too much. But this is a cave, like caves. There's caves that are like thousands of feet deep. This could be so deep. There could be some monsters down there just waiting for you to go for a swim, waiting for this little bridge of yours to break, you know? Just so creepy how deep this could be and looks. And how long has it been sitting there, you know? How long has this water been still? Yay, an abandoned mall. I sure hope there's not... Still water. Although it's not still anymore, you know what I'm saying? Whew. Yikes, dude. An abandoned bunker, huh? Whew. Yikes. Man, that water is still. <laughs> you know what I mean? <sighs> okay, they're making fun of me. It's time to stop. I know this was kind of a trendy type of video on TikTok. If you can believe that, it's kind of random. A lot of the Urban Explorer channels were getting a lot of mileage out of the still water stuff. So it became like kind of popular. And then it got so popular, people were kind of making fun of it. And that's when I show up to take the trend that's already run its course and bring it to you, oh my good people of YouTube. Anyway, thanks for watching. This is kind of the water video for the month, I think. I might still do an ocean-y one, but um, that was a lot, you know? That definitely shivered my timbers, for lack of a better word. It's not that I can't think of a better one, that's just, that's the best way to say it. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't yet. And something you can do if you really want to help me out is watch another video right after this one, like when the little cards show up, click one. I feel like that's the number one thing YouTube likes to see. People do ask occasionally how they can help me out. And so that's one way you can do it. So thank you for that. And uh, I appreciate you guys. And I'll see you next time. There maybe will be no video next weekend because I'm in Europe as you're watching this for like a, about a week and a half. So I might film a video when I'm there, but that might not be possible. So we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye. Man, that water is still...